Hello everybody. My name is Dr. Imad Ibrahim. Uh, this is a summarization of uh, mediator of acute inflammation. Mediators of acute inflammation. It is this summarization is intended for second year medicine student. Uh, chemical mediators are derived from two sources, either prime derived, which present as uh, circulatory precursor, inactive precursor need to be uh, activated, or uh, cellular drive, se sequestered intracellularly, are ready to be secreted by the cell. Most mediator bind to receptor to elicit the effect, or sometimes it is have direct effect as enzymes or as toxins. These are examples for uh, infl acute inflammatory acute inflammation mediators uh, they are mediators who uh, come from cellular origin like a histamine serotonin and lysomal enzymes these are preform they are also cellular uh, mediators but are newly sensitized when there is uh, inflammatory process like a prostaglandin a leukotriene platelet activating factor and etc uh, all these enzymes all these mediators have effect on blood vessels and uh, uh, cellular component. There are other, other mediators come from the plasma secreted by the liver. The source is the liver, major source, like factor, tw factor 12, Hogman factor, which activates the kinin, or bradykinin system, and the coagulation of the genetic system, and uh, protein of the complement, which is sensitized by the liver. As you can see here, if there is a tissue damage due to trauma, ischemia, neoplasm, or infectious agent, whatever the cause, this leads to inflammation. Inflammation leads to uh, production of inflammatory mediators, either uh, uh, to vascular uh, change or cellular, even vascular change, like histamine, serotonin, bradykinin, which lead to increased vascular permeability and uh, vasodilatation which lead to oedema or accumulation of fluid outside the blood vessels. Then the mediator which has cellular effect would lead to uh, chemotactin and activation of uh, white cells. In, in acute inflammation it targeted uh, neutrophil, bromorphic nucleus and platelet. If in a chronic inflammation, macrophages, lymphocytes and plasma cell. This is again tissue injury lead to inflammation, production of inflammatory mediators with vasoactive activity lead to increased primary variability and oedema or uh, has cellular effect will lead to cellular activation and chemotaxis, recruitment of cell to area of inflammation. For acute inflammation there is recruitment of polymorphic nucleus uh, which is a neutrophil. The chronic inflammation mainly monocytes uh, in a form of macrophage lymphocyte and plasma cell. Uh, then we will uh, speak about the most important mediators, each alone, each one uh, in separate. Histamine has a vasoactive activity. It's a vasoactive amine found in mast cell, deformed and stored in the mast cell, basophil and platelet. Release due to stimuli. Promote vasodilatation and increase vascular permeability. The increase vascular permeability due to uh, endothelial contraction. Serotonin also vasoactive uh, uh, substances found in platelet. Release upon there is a platelet activation and aggregation. Here, some of the plasma proteas like factor 12, which activate the clotting cascade, also can activate the kinin, bradykinin cascade, a fibrinolytic system, and a complement cascade. This is again factor 12, activate the clotting cascade, kinin cascade, fibrinolytic system, a complement cascade all being can activated by factor 12 which is circulating in the plasma in inactive form 
is activated by tissues injury. Vascular endothelial injury will activate a contact factor uh, like factor 12, and then it will exert its effect by activating many, many cascades. Kinin cascade lead to formation of bradykinin. Bradykinin have uh, many effects. First, it causes pain, irritate nerve ending and responsible about the pain. Then increase vascular permeability, arterial dilatation, smooth muscle contraction. Bradykinin is a short duration, short duration. It has an effect similar to histamine. Then there is a clotting cascade, also been activated by factor 12. It leads to fibrin or clot formation. Complement system, also activated by factor 12, has a role in immunity by uh, making membrane attack complex. This will lead to punches a hole in the membrane and lead to cell lysis. Also, factor 12 will activate complement system, has a role in inflammation with the factor C3A and C5A. This has uh, a chemotactant uh, role. Also has vascular effect, increased vascular permeability, will lead to vasodilatation, similar to histamine. Uh, also, C5A will activate arachidonic acid lipoxygenase metabolism. Lipoxygenase will activate lipoxygenase to metabolize arachidonic acid to produce leukotrienes. C5A, which is a complement protein, is responsible about activation uh, arachidonic acid pathway. Uh, by activating lipooxygenase enzyme lead to formation of leukotrienes. Complement system also will activate, uh, as we said, C5A also has role in chemotactin as a chemotaxis, and with this lead to uh, uh, activation of the cells. Also, complement protein has a role in phagocytosis in a form of C3B, which acts as op opsonin, binding to the target cell or target bacteria, lead or assist uh, the, the, the phagocyte to attach to the uh, bacteria and engulf it. This is the complement system, has two pathways, classic pathway. This classic pathway is uh, activated by antigen antibody reaction or alternatively is activated by uh, foreign uh, uh, polysaccharide like bacterial polysaccharide. This also uh, classic pathway activated by antigenous body reaction, alternative pathway by uh, bacterial uh, product. The arachidonic acid located in the plasma membrane during the inflammation, this will lead to activation of phospholipase A, and this will lead to metabolize of arachidonic acid to give many, many metabolites, which has activity in uh, acute inflammation. These metabolites are short-lived and rapidly destroyed. As I said, arachidonic acid is released from the damaged cell membrane. This leads by activity of phospholipase to uh, give uh, the arachidonic acid. Then the arachidonic acid with the activation of lipoxygenase and uh, cyclooxygenase give us leukotrienes and uh, prostaglandins. This is a pathway. Cell damage, release phospholipid. Phospholipid by action of phospholipase give us arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid with the enzyme cyclooxygenase give us prostaglandin or with the action of lipooxygenase give us leukotrienes. This pathway, uh, and phospholipase can be treated with steroids, which is anti-inflammatory. A cyclooxygenase can be inhibited with aspirin and other non uh, steroidal anti inflammatory drugs like uh, ibuprofen. The, again, this is the pathway. This is steroid inhibiting the phospholipase A2. This is aspirin or non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs which are inhibiting a cyclooxygenase. Also, again, arachidonic acid by action of phospholipase A2 give us a phospholipid by action of phospholipase A2 give us arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid will give prostaglandin by action of cyclooxygenase or leukotrienes by action of lipooxygenase enzyme. 
these are acidonic acid pathway libo oxygenase give us uh, uh, hydroxy eicosanoid or hydro uh, uh, peroxy hydroxy leukot uh, eicosanoids which lead to formation of leukotrienes this will lead to formation of leukotrienes and cyclooxygenase activation will lead to prostaglandins and prostacyclins Liboxygenase give us leukotrienes, cyclooxygenase give us mainly prostaglandins. Arachidonic acid metabolites participate in every aspect of acute inflammation. They are main mediator in acute inflammation. Can be inhibited, cyclooxygenase can be inhibited by aspirin and non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs like profene and diclofenac sodium. Steroid will inhibit all the common pathway which inhibit alphospholipase A2 enzyme. There are other also mediator called platelet activating factor. It released from activated platelets during a platelet aggregation. It has a very strong vasodilatator effect, more than 100 and 1,000 times potent than histamine in vasodilatating the blood vessels, or to increase the plasma permeability, but it has bronchoconstriction effect, bronchoconstriction effect. It also enhances leukocyte adhesion, chemotactin, and degranulation of oxidative crust, which contain a free radical to kill uh, the microbes. Yani it leads to fully attraction and activation of uh, leukocytes. Cytokines, which secreted from cells, spolypeptides secreted by cells, and regulate other cells. This biological uh, effect uh, can be uh, modulated by therapeutic, uh, target, oops, therapeutic drugs targeting these uh, cytokines. Also, we have interleukin-1, tumor necrosis factor, which secreted from the macrophages. It has many effects. It leads to production of uh, acute phase reaction, also in the fibroblast effect and leukocyte effect. Interleukin 1 and necrosis, tumor necrosis factor responsible about many systemic effects of inflammation like fever, sleep, uh, increased sleep, loss of appetite, increased acute phase protein, also in the effect uh, lead to uh, over, over expression of adhesion molecule to leukocytes and fibroblast lead to uh, uh, fibrin synthesis or uh, collagen, sorry, collagen synthesis and fibrosis. Also, it activates uh, leukocytes. Uh, there is another metabolite, which is nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is uh, also has uh, a vasodilatator effect and it secretes also in inflammation and also enduring uh, normal uh, process. Nitric oxide, it prevent uh, platelet aggregation also. There are also some mediators like oxygen derived free radical, which secreted uh, from uh, activated leukocytes. Oxygen derived free radical responsible for tissue damage, which occur in inflammation, direct injury to endothelial cell by this free radical, Injury to extracellular matrix via protease or injury to other cell type like a red cells or a tumor cells. Last one of the inflammatory mediator are lysosomal content. During inflammation, the white cell will release the lysosomal content like neutral protease, elastase, collagenase, which degrade the extracellular matrix component, lead to destruction and deforming of uh, uh, tissues and lead to uh, more tissues injury during the inflammation. Thank you very much. If any question or, or comment, please contact me and I will reply immediately. Thank you very much.